All right, so here go my uh, truck right now. Just got it. I was doing my little inspection on everything. It's me, I feel like the Freightliners is the best trucks, and I'm about to show you why. The Freightliners is the best. We got an ELD up in here. This is the, probably the best thing you can have in one of these trucks when you're driving trucks, bro. The Qualcomm, all that other stuff, paper logs ain't that good. Don't worry about that, that don't work. But, so I ended up getting the 2022. Freightliner only got 130,000 miles on it, so that's basically new when you're driving a truck. So if you can see, the reason why I like the Freightliner, look at this, bro. Look at all of this space right here. You can literally, look, you can literally be right here and I'll never be in a passenger seat and I got it pushed all the way up, but it's a lot of space though. Look, you got this little piano black, you know, and it's just nice. It just look big, it feel big because the Kenworths and the Peterbilt's kind of the same, but in the Kenworths and the Peterbilt's is something right here. Turn it down. It's something right here that kind of block it off, but you got a lot of space where you can just walk over here and you got your whole bed set up, you know, the sleeper berth, pull this down. You can use this and put stuff up here, but I don't use this. I just leave it like that. You could probably put some, you know, strap something down right there. And if it's not that big, you can close right there. See, I can stand straight up in here. I'm standing straight up because, you know, you got the whole thing like that. And you got the ambient lighting. And it's a lot of lightning. Compared to the last truck I had when I had the flatbed. Look. Oh, shit, I just turned that bitch off. Hold on. So compared to the uh, flatbed that I had, look at all that light. And then you turn ambient light on. Ambient too, look. <laughs> bro, look at all those lights, man. Like that is crazy, bro. And in the dark time, when it's dark, it look good. I ain't got no microwave yet. So right now I don't got no microwave and I don't got no TV because I don't watch TV. But if you about to play the game or something like that, bro, you could put a TV right here. I don't even know how to pull this thing out. I never used the TV before, bro. But you could pull this down and it'll swing out like that and you'll have a TV. But other than that, you got a lot of storage. The most important thing when you driving a truck, bro, is like your storage stuff. And in my last one, it wasn't closed like this. So I got my stuff in there, you feel me? Like bananas, baby white soccer, you know what I'm saying? But it, you can actually close them. The flatbed I had was like open compartments, you feel me? So it was just like this open. But it was just like weird and it had a little lip. And stuff could just fall right out. But now I could close everything. And that's the most important thing. When you driving trucks, bro, the most important thing going to be your uh, organize, organizer stuff, you feel me? You got a lot of space up here. Look at all this space. And I put a lot of toilet paper up there. Spa space in here. Space in here. Look at that. And you know, uh, I put my waters behind the uh, thing. It's the trash. I put my waters behind the uh, thing, behind the passenger seat because I don't got nobody riding with me. You got this, where you got, you know, a whole drawer, your refrigerator. Look at the little refrigerator. It's a little fridge, but you could put some stuff in. Like I said, when you start driving trucks, you're going to have to learn how to manage your stuff. And this is, the, this is probably my favorite part. All of this space, it feel like I'm in like an RV or something. When it's the Freightliner, and, and it feel like it's the RV or something, I gotta double check if the um if it's a little bit bigger. But I swear, I drove to Kenworth, bro, and uh the Freightliner, bro, it just feel way better. And it's a Detroit, so I had to get the Freightliner. I was like, bro, I, I don't care what I get as long as it's a Freightliner, bro, I'm good. Make sure it's the 2020. 19 and up, though. I think that's when a, a facelift happened, or in 2018, I think the facelift happened. But you get this right here, look, shelves and something little right here. You know, you got that. You got a damn place where you can eat. You know, if you want to go wine and dine, you feel me? You could go ahead and go right here and, and wine and dine. But I ain't never really used that before. Put your shoes in here. You know, you got like shoes. I'll be putting my shoes and stuff inside here. Bro, it's so much space, bro. You, It's no way your truck could be dirty, bro. If your truck dirty, you dirty, bro. Because I'm dirty. You know? So, you got this. Boom. Little window. You know, if it's cold, I don't know. You want to hear something? Little window. <sighs> Open it both ways. Talk crazy. And you can slam it on the nigga. You like, man, what'd you say? Bitch, I... Slam it right in his face. So, look. Oh, and um, I'll show you what's under here. Let me show you what's under here. That's why I say, bro, it's so much space. If you don't, bro, if you... If your truck is dirty, bro, it's your fault, gang. Hold on, look. Boom. 
Come on now. My, my bed kind of thick. Look, I got my toilet under there. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, a whole space where you could put stuff, and that's like the uh, climate control system. If that wasn't there, it'd have been even bigger, but you kind of need that so you could run, a, um, you know, optimized idle and you could add some heat but and, and AC. But look, whole space under here. You feel me? Look at that. All that space. You can't say that's not a lot of space, bro. You could put two duffel bags in here. My duffel bag just taking up a lot of space. Look at this. Look at all that space, bro. Look at that. Come on, man. You can't say that ain't a lot of space, bro. Look at all that space. Got some little dumbbells, you know, so get my little workout on. But look at all this space. Like, come on, man. And then you can open it from the side compartment. I ain't show y'all that, but you can open it from the side compartment right there. Boom. Look. All this space, bro. I can fuck around and jerk this motherfucker. You feel me? I could jerk in this bitch. Look. I'm telling you, bro, you could post up too. But I ain't gonna cap though. This is probably the best one. If you if you about to just start driving trucks, bro, listen to me. I would say get the Freightliner, bro. A lot of people like the Peterbilt's. Um, Kenworth, Kenworth, Peterbilt, kind of same thing. But when it comes to this Freightliner, I ain't never really been no international. But if it's a 2017 Freightliner, I can't speak for them. Them boys ugly. This bitch look good. You feel me? It look good, man. Let me do a walk around for y'all boys again. Let's go outside and do a walk around. And then look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I do this walk around, look at it. It just feel good. Sit right here. You can pull your seat back. Air out. You know, you can get low. You can get low if you want to. I got my Ram McNally in this. This is a GPS too, but you can get low. Look at all this space. You got the curtains, all your curtains, all this space. <laughs> Roll your windows down. Look at that, bro. Look at all this space, bro. And I'm kind of tall too, man, so I can stand up in here. I can stand up in here and it's like, look at this, man. Just look from where I'm sitting right here. Look at this. Just look, bro. Look at it. I look back. It's like I'm, people can live in here, bro. Literally, people can live in here, man. I don't know why you don't want to drive trucks yet, though. But look at that. All this space. Chilling. Get the Freightliner, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. If they got the Freightliners, I feel like it's the best one compared to that Kenworth. I can't do the Kenworths, bro. They go to Kenworth right there, speaking of the devil. I can't do them, man. I like these. These big. They remind me of Dodge Charger because they made in Detroit, bro. But... You know, that's it though. That's basically it. Let me do this walk around for y'all boy. Shout out to look on the outside. <clears throat> so look, check it out. Ooh. Hey, you never want to do that. Never leave your keys in here, y'all. For real. I've done that before. That is not a good deal. But look, check it out though. Check it out. Check it out, man. Look at all that. And you see, I ain't got the one with the low kit. Like, where, where it got the kit at the bottom, I low-key want that. I'm going to show you all that. Look, but I want that bitch with, like, the kit at the bottom. Like some Midnight Club shit. See, I got the kit back here, but I ain't get the kit in the front. That's what I need. I need that kit, bro. I might just have to swap it out on somebody later at night. But you got your both fuel tanks, you know, basic stuff like that. And then you got the, the uh, luggage things on the other side. See, they shooting out here. See how that shit go? Look, look, somebody just died, look. Somebody just got shot on cam. Look at this. But you got, you got your kingpin, all of that stuff, if we will. Let me see. Let me show you how the little luggage thing. You pull this little latch, boom, look at that. You could go right from the side, but I don't really use that. There's no point for it, but that's it, though, for this. For my Freightliner, man. This is my baby right here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to go across the country with it. Hey, peace.